Okay, I'm going to start out by, by making, <clears throat> excuse me, making note of the fact that this problem can be done in two different ways. You can use explicit differentiation or implicit differentiation. We're not going to go over the explicit case uh, in great detail. I'll leave it here for you to examine. But here, if I solve the original relation for y, I will subtract x cubed from both sides, then raise both sides to the one-third power, and there's y in terms of x only. And then y prime, I can use the power rule followed by the chain rule. Make note of the fact that y prime of 4 equals negative 16. Then I can use the quotient rule to find y double prime. And y double prime of 4, I only need to use y double prime in this case is in terms of x only. There's no y's <coughs> or y primes for that matter. Uh, so y double prime of 4 equals negative 520 if you substitute 4 in where all these x's are. Note that 65 minus 4 cubed is 1. So all these places where you have 65 minus 4 to a power are going to evaluate to 1. And on Desmos over here, I have taken g of x as the first derivative. q of x is the derivative of the first derivative, so that's the second derivative. And q of 4 does indeed evaluate to negative 520. Now, if we go to board two, you'll see that implicit differentiation is probably a little bit easier to do. <clears throat> so taking the derivative of this expression or equation with respect to x, we get 3x squared plus 3y squared y prime. That's the chain rule you know, where we assume that y is some function of x. You could also write dy dx right here. I prefer to just write y prime. If you solve for y prime, uh, you get negative x squared over y squared. And note that y prime at the point 4, 1 is still negative 16, just like we got on the first board using explicit. Oh, we'll use the quotient rule again to find y double prime, denominator times the derivative of the numerator, minus the numerator, minus minus x squared is plus x squared, times the derivative of the denominator, 2y, y prime. This guy right here, we already have seen, has a value of negative 16 when x is 4 and y is 1. So to find y double prime of 4, 1, we'll put 1 in for y, 4 in for x, negative 16 in for y prime, we get the same answer. And this technique using implicit differentiation is probably a little bit easier to use than uh, the explicit technique. There you go. If you have any questions, uh, leave a comment. Hope that helps.